of an Abby Nichols and Emily Venters. Um, and, and so both tremendous collegiate runners, but also professional runners. Uh, so keep, a, keep an eye on, on Natalie Cook, uh, hip 12 from Flower Mound. Uh, she will be interesting to watch uh, compete here tonight. We've also got, um, you know, a former Israeli uh, Olympian in this race, Mior Tiori. Apologies if I uh, mispronounce that. As well as the Sri Lankan national record holder, uh, Haruni, um, running for Tracksmith. So you've got some really interesting storylines outside the collegians. You know, Natalie Cook is a real star in the making from Flower Mound, just outside Dallas, uh, Texas, out here in Stanford to compete. Um, under the lights with with the stars, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of, you know, obviously a, a different gender, but, you know, harkening back to Alan Webb competing against um, folks to run, you know, sub four minute miles in, in high school. It, these high school athletes, if they reach certain levels, need this level of challenge to uh, to get to new heights. So it'll be exciting to see what she can do in the race. So the, the meet record in the 5K on the women's side is a very brisk 1509. <laughs> so I don't think that that's going to be challenged here tonight. Uh, but again, there, this should be, a, I think, a tremendous race, uh, again, to watch develop, given, uh, again, just the, the assortment of athletes that we have competing tonight. They're getting them set up here. And a reminder for our our viewers at home, we've still got an entire set of 10,000 meter races after this. So we've got, you know, our fastest heats of 5Ks here, starting with the women and then the men. And then we've got uh, two heats each for the men and women in the 10,000. So don't go anywhere if you're enjoying the distance action here tonight on Flow Track. And we are underway in the women's 5,000 meter <laughs> invitational heat. See an Anna Camp's name here uh, representing Adidas. Anna ran earlier, so uh, wouldn't be surprised to see her as a pacer. In yes, this, if she is indeed uh, running. Yeah, that looks like a familiar gait uh, <laughs> taking to the lead. University of Utah looks like it's pretty well represented at the uh, front of the pack. So that's Anna Camp and uh, Jenny Nesbitt at the front, likely doing some pacing duties here. And we'll do our best to find Natalie Cook uh, amongst the pack. Hip number 12. Looks like it was about a 73 second uh, first 400 here as we get underway. Still being led here by Anna Camp, who represents Adidas, former BYU runner. And there's Natalie Cook sitting in fourth right now with the kind of almost tie-dye top, black bottoms. Uh, not, uh, not shying away <laughs> so far. Yeah, and sometimes when you have kind of you know, your first foray and first experience. She's running without fear, um, and that's great. So, yeah, Natalie Cook coming through uh, 77, that, uh, that last 400 for her. The national high school record for 5,000 meters was set in 2020. That's 15.34.47. Um, Jenna Hutchins. We'll see how the race plays out, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. 
So still Anna Camp leading out so far in the race. Looks like Camp has switched to the flats, doing some pacing for everyone. Checking the watch. This one has really strung out pretty quickly here. We've got a lead pack kind of separating from that second pack, but obviously lots can change once the pacers step off. Uh, things have definitely accelerated. Uh, 63 on that split. Given the number of, of professional athletes all flanking, uh, Natalie, could, I'm not privy to any information, but it sure looks like there might be a, a pacing effort underway for her to try to give her a shot at, at trying to hit that national record. Because so far it really is uh, Cook kind of up there, uh, followed closely by, by Abby Nichols, but, but really it, it's Cook up there flanked by a lot of professional runners that appear to be kind of on pacing duty. Yeah, and it's, it's special when these high school athletes reach such heights and it you know, you want them to go on and, and see what they can do at a higher level, but ultimately, too, you kind of want to see what they can do in their current state because, you know, sometimes they do, um, you know, kind of reach a peak in high school, and so you got to kind of try when you're at this level of fitness that she's achieved and you have some of the success she has, you got to kind of squeeze it for all it's worth because, you know, she has an opportunity to do something really special here. So we'll see how it plays out over the course of the race. 71. 76 that lap for for natalie cook um, that is a brisk brisk pace uh, for a 5k in in kind of yeah unheard of for a high school 5k but abby nichols kind of benefiting from from some of this attention given to natalie cook she's kind of connected to that pacing group up front and so natalie uh, abby nichols from colorado uh, still in the mix and, and running uh, very well so far. Looks like Natalie will be heading to Oklahoma State next year, um, not too far from, from Flower Mound, so just up into Oklahoma, strong distance running tradition on both the men's and women's side there at Oklahoma State. So we've got 3,200 meters to go, and the camp of Adidas still running. Looks like she's gonna tap out here pretty soon. Keeps checking the watch, making sure she's doing her job. Yeah, she may be getting DoorDash alerts uh, saying that the order's ready, so. They're off to a quick pace. You know, this, this early group is about six deep. Uh, once camp stepped off, it'll only be five, so we'll see uh, what they can do here under, under the bright lights. And with that kind of attention, it looks like being given to, to Cook, we've got a gap of, what, 50, almost 50 meters, 60 meters between that lead group of, looks like six as Anna Camp steps off. So handing off the young Cook to, to the rest of the, of the women here to pull her through. You know, this first group split in about 73, 72, second group 66, 67. So, uh, you know, not letting that gap widen too much, but they're definitely kind of a gulf in quality um, from the first group to the second. They, they just announced that the K splits, the first K was a 305, the second K was a 303. Uh, oof, trying to go under 1530 here so far. So if Cook can hold on and if she can get the help that she needs here uh, and look at the, her, her peloton that has just engulfed her right now, um, almost not even allowing her to, to deviate from the pace, that you yeah. stay there, you stay in your lane, and you just run. Kind of reminds me of the Kipchoge uh, exactly. sub-two-hour marathon right now. It's That's like exactly it, what as it long as your like. legs are moving, you're going to get there. Um, this is a, uh, a great group for her to really push herself in. I'm a little bit concerned that the, the, the pace for Cook is the lap splits at least are starting to, to, starting to deviate up, starting to tick up a little bit. She's still tucked in, 
but I, I am a little bit worried that with uh, you know six laps to go, it looks like uh, things are are starting to get labored. There she goes, moving up, staying tucked in, excellent. But is she throwing in those surges because she's falling behind the pace and so she's throwing in those accelerations or is she doing so because she can? So that's the, I'm a little bit worried that as a high, sc high school athlete feels herself falling off the pace that she'll hit the gas a little bit to kind of overcompensate to get back on track. Uh, but here we go, uh, 76, again, Things are just kind of ticking up a little bit. It was a 74, then a 75. Now there's a 76. Uh, yeah, you really need one of the um, you know more seasoned athletes to kind of take this from the front and start throwing down some laps uh, to kind of get them back on track. They're going to run fast, no doubt. But, Absolutely. Uh, would love to see um, this effort rewarded with a potential national record. So with just over five laps to go, we've got Jenny Nisbet of, of New Balance leading out this uh, peloton with Andrea Ramirez and uh, Charlotte Arter and Abby Nichols with Natalie Cook of Flower Mound, the high school athlete, tucked in, getting pulled along. Uh, they're kind of taking her to, to the finish here. So All here right, we go. Five laps to go. Right, 18, 2K. Here we go. Got a good Utah contingent here in our chase pack, all kind of working together. Uh, that's Kara, that's Emily Venters and, and Kara Wolno uh, working, working together here on that chaser. Cook is up on her toes. You almost begin to wonder if, if we get to 12 or 800 to go and she feels good, she just go for it. Um, I, I don't think that's entirely out of the question. A lot of work has been done ahead of her, and if she's feeling good, she may be at a confidence level and an ability level that she's able to take this race and um, just kind of go for broke towards the end. The least kept the pace consistent, 75. So we're not we're not turning backwards anymore, which is a positive sign. Absolutely, yeah. 3200 for the leader. 9.55 for 32. Wow. Go ahead and go run an additional mile after that, Natalie. Very impressive. And here oh, she here goes go. to the lead. Here we go. Going to let her go here, the final 16. What's up? The crowd gives go her get some it, Natalie. energy. Mile to go. Natalie Cook to the lead. And you do, to your point, you get, you get the sense that they're just kind of letting her go, and she is starting to... Just let her rip. She knows what 1,600 meters feels like. She knows what that effort needs to feel like, and she's just going at this point. Yeah, and she's up on her toes. She looks she looks smooth right now. Yeah, you just it almost looks more comfortable than what it was like when she was tucked in. Yeah. <clears throat> But she's not used to tucking in behind anyone because most of her competition she's blowing the doors <laughs> off of. So, you know, maybe this is where she, she kind of feels um, the most at ease is, is kind of up front, uh, taking the pace to the, to the field. So it's 74 for Cook in that last lap. 77 minutes. So what's the mark that we're trying to hit here? So we're looking to get under 15.34. That record was set in December of 2020, so not too long ago. Uh, Cook is going for it. 1,200 meters to go. And she still has support. She's not locked into that peloton, but she still has people pushing her along on her heels, on her shoulder, uh, still giving her that support that she needs. So uh, stay tuned here. And yeah, take a look at that chase pack of, of Utah and a Stanford runner tucked in as well. That's Lucy Jenks with Ventures and, and Wolno from Utah. Uh, that last lap, a 73 for Cook. Things are coming back down the way that you want. Things are tight. She's tightening the screws. That's the way it should be done. On that last lap. 
She's going to need a little bit of help. She's going to continue to need those athletes who are around her, encouraging her. I know they're probably all at a point when they, you know, are, are short on air and just trying to focus on winning the race. But um, some positive synergy amongst this lead group is going to get her where she's trying to go. And it looks we like go. we do have an athlete <clears throat> moving into the lead there. That's what she needs. She needs someone to chase. Come on, Natalie. Hang in there. So 800 to go for Natalie yeah, Cook, right at 13.01 on the clock. Molly Grable takes the lead. Natalie Cook is the perfect, perfect opportunity right now. If she can hang on to these two in front of her, she's going to get to where she'd like to go. The turnover still looks good from Cook up front. Yeah, she's responded well to that change in front, and it may give her that extra push she needs. Yeah, it's, a, it's again, it's just a different mental perspective here. Cook came through in 74 that lap. So again, staying where she needs to. Well, it's going to be very, very close. Let's hope this home stretch roars for her and gives her that extra boost kind of coming into this. It's, it's pretty rare you get a chance to see a potential high school national record. Hopefully they can summon some excitement. Oh, she's making a move on the outside even. And then she might have an opportunity to even lap a runner. Again, giving All right, a let's see what we're going to see here. Cook is moving in a second. She's moving up. Going to be chasing down Grable up front. So it's going to be Molly Grable first. Natalie All Cook right. second. Cook has got a great window. If she can run about a 75, she's going to be very, very close to 1530. She ran a 72-7 that last lap, so she's going to be on track. She's Guys, just got to dig in. We're watching something really special right now. A really impressive run for Molly Grable. A lot of really hard work from some professional athletes giving Natalie Cook this chance right now. And if she can just keep it together for 250 meters, we're watching a national high school record live. 200 to go. Cook's looking good. The turnover is still remaining quick. She's going to the arms, 200 meters out. And Crable with the brilliant run being overshadowed by the upstart, <laughs> Natalie Cook. <laughs> Crable finishing hard. Cook is getting passed for second here, but Cook is running really impressively. This crowd's She's bringing gonna her home. It. She's going to get it. She is going to get the national high school record. Natalie wow. Cook coming through. Molly Grable takes the race. Natalie Cook, she's going to be under 15.30. Oh, why did they stop the clock for her? <laughs> wow. wow. Somewhere around 15.26. That's a national high school record in the 5,000 meters Cook for Natalie through. Cook. 15.25.93 for Natalie Cook of Flower Mound. Wow. That was really special to watch. Incredible performance. Getting some support from the other competitors there in the finish. Yeah, they understood that what she's done, I mean, she's she's on a trajectory that's pretty special. Wow. Wow. So it's Molly Grable taking the win in 15-22. Jenny Nesbitt in 15-24, but Natalie Cook, high school runner from Flower Mound, getting the new national record. Uh, for the high school girls 5K in 1525. Abby Nichols, who was in that pack throughout most of the race, uh, taking fourth in 1527. Uh, going to, to uh, Charlotte Arter, Andrew Ramirez, and then Lucy Jenks with the contingent from University of Utah coming through in 1541, 1544, and 1547. It's rare that you see a national record. It's especially rare that you see a national record by nine seconds from a mark that was only two years old. Um, pretty impressive. Congratulations, Natalie Cook, and, and great race um, You know, by a lot of athletes around her, including Grable, the winner, uh, to help kind of drag her along to some of that success. And that was our uh, Sri Lankan.